And now a chance for Jan Ove Waldner of Sweden, who's up against Lee Gunsang. There's Jan Ove Waldner. The interesting thing in this game is that Jan Ove Waldner doesn't often come up against defensive players. We've seen him in very impressive form against the topspin players. His opponent, Lee Gunsang, semi finalist this year in the Hungarian Open. We saw him beat Tibor Klampo last week. Lee using, of course, the combination bat, the reverse Can rubber on one please? side, the long pimples on the other side. Quiet, and obviously, Let's during go. the rallies, we'll be Lee twiddling his bat round to get that extra variation to confuse Voldner. Level one. One all. One two. A lot of people feel the defensive player hasn't got much of a future in the current modern game with the, the excessive speed and spin. But Lee showing a marvellous example Three, of what two, the defender well, can actually do. Here we see Lee serving, of course, using the reverse side, the black side. That gives him much more variation in spin. You saw at the end of it how he changed his bat round, so the backhand would then be from the red side. Lee finding himself in an unfamiliar situation there. His opponent forced away from the table, top spinning the ball high into the air, and Lee making an error. 5 2. Yeah. 6 2. Tremendous forehand block there by Boldner, taking the ball very early off the bounce, giving his opponent little time to see where it was going. Three. Voldner must keep his patience throughout. Let. Six three. <laughs> Superb accuracy. Voldner there putting side spin onto his forehand, taking it very wide to lead four. Good example there of what any world-class defensive player has got to be able to do these days, and that is come in and hit the loose ball. Four eight. Foldner already making his tactical plan quite obvious, wide to his forehand and then wide down the backhand. Lee, of course, immediately countering that by hitting the one that was wide to his forehand. Oh, yeah. Six eight. Nine six, Valdner. Valdner tempting Lee to come in and attack that one, which he did, but unsuccessfully. Did well then, Lee, under all sorts of pressure, get caught against him. Volner playing extremely well here, varying the speed and the spin all the time. No two balls coming over the net the same. 11-8. Well picked out by Lee there. Slightly loose serve. 
812, Lee. Here we see Volden's serve. Very loose wrist. Fast accelerating bat. And there was the backspin serve. Nine twelve. While it may look as though Lee's just simply returning the ball, I can assure you there's tremendous variation in spin while he's away from the table. Nine thirteen. Ten thirteen. Eleven thirteen. Lack of concentration, perhaps, now from Valdner. Possibly. Lee using the reverse side to get that extra spin. 13-12, Valdner. And winning three points outright on his service. It's brought him right back into the game. Thirteen all. Valdner failing to lift the excessive backspin there from Lee. Thirteen, fourteen. Volner slightly holding back there. Lee immediately capitalising on it, coming in and hitting for a winner. Thirteen, fifteen. Certainly not holding back there. He's a bit frustrated with himself at the moment. There we see Volner's serve. Volner immediately getting with his forehand topspin. Good forehand smash, and this is the one that Volner should have won the point with. Tried to be a little clever there and come across the ball and fade it down the backhand. Oh! 13-16. Excellent shot there by Lee. Quite a good topspin from Volner. Sixteen, fourteen, Yet again, Valdner finding himself behind in the game. So often he has to rescue himself. Sixteen, fifteen. Seventeen, fifteen. Again, a, a very heavy backspin stroke from Lee. Voldner failing to lift it. Let 17 15. 18 15. Lee playing that shot in exactly the right place. And Voldner's away from the table. That's the place to put the ball wide down the backhand. 16. Voldner bringing Lee into the table and then playing a very hard backhand topspin. 16-19, Voldner. With Voldner serving 16-19, the match is still anybody's. 17-19. That's two points out right on service. Yeah. Lee attempting to float that ball. In other words, give it no spin. Four points in a row for the Swede. Game point. Oh, what an amazing comeback. Cheer to the echo here. Poker face personality. But such concentration.
when it really mattered. Here we see the point at 17-15. Volner takes a chance and runs round his backhand. Lee blocks him down the line, forcing Volner to lob. Good smash by Lee. And there we see Lee smash it down Volner's backhand and force the error. So after a few moments with the coaches, they're back to the table, or very nearly. What kind of things will the coaches be saying? I'm sure that Glenus, the Swedish coach, has kept on has kept on top of Volner, making sure he keeps his concentration, that he keeps varying the spin. Volner to serve. Second game. And telling him to try Double. and get in with a strong ball behind the serve. Janlo. He mixed it up well there. Very well. I think it's important that Volner this game, after his serve, he tries to get in with a strong ball. Because once the rallies get going, once the rallies get going, Lee is a formidable player to get the ball past. Again, Lee missing the high ball. He missed one at the similar stage in the first game. One for Lee. 